This is a stereo vision module. I received this to review for free. If you wanted to buy it, it would cost you $80. They have not paid me for this review, and my opinions are my own. So in the box, you have a bare module and a cable. This is a micro USB to A connector. Um, and this module has a micro USB port on the bottom, chip here, and two imaging sensors underneath these screw arm lenses, and they come with little lens covers. So this module really excites me. Um, just a few years ago, if you wanted to do stereo vision for depth finding or structure for motion, um, you really had to set up two different cameras and if you wanted their shutters to be synchronized, you had to have industrial, scientific, expensive cameras um, with you know a shutter sync cable and all kinds of work to make that happen. But this here is, you know, I can go on Amazon and for you know buy just a pre-made module that does you know 960 resolution and synchronize the shutters. Now it will require some software work on your end to be able to make 3D views from the stereo pair, um, but just having that hardware available off the shelf is, is really neat. This company makes many different camera modules and so there's nothing in the box or in this brief little product brochure that is specific to this particular camera module. And they also certainly don't give you any software tools to um, go with it in this documentation. This is a bare board and you're on your own for mounting. So there are four um, two millimeter diameter holes on the corners. And the best I can measure, these are 13 millimeter hole spacings and 76 millimeter hole spacings. Um, it's definitely not 12 by 75, which would have been a nice round number, but you could also just use some double-sided sticky tape to stick this to something. So I plugged this in my Linux laptop, it just enumerated, and it is giving you something like 2560, let's see here, it's 2560 by 960 at 60 frames per second. So it's basically 1345 by 960 on each of these two displays. It's coming in as a single camera source so that you know these frames are synchronized and your software will have to split those two frames apart and process them um, to get depth data. The um, USB port here is on the top, although if you wanted to mount it this way, it would be very simple to flip this video um, as it came in. So that is the module in operation right there. This is just a standard video recording app, but you could um, pipe this into any software that you wanted to use this for stereo vision. So this is an example recording from the camera module. Now I don't believe this camera has a microphone. Um, I could be wrong on that. We'll find out when we review the video. Um, but if not, I will pull the audio from my other camera. All right, I just whipped up a quick little open CV program to demonstrate this. You can see it's detecting my hand there in the depth view. It's very messy because I have not calibrated the cameras at all. I'm simply assuming they're perfectly calibrated, and obviously they're, they're never going to be perfectly calibrated out of the box. So you'll need to print a chessboard, calibrate the cameras, and so forth. But even just out of the box, you can see that you know we're able to get a depth map here. It's noisy, but it is working quite well. And because the input is a single frame, you just split that single frame into your left and right views, um, and it makes the processing and the synchronization just so much easier. So I definitely recommend this module here that presents just a single video um, stream coming in with both frames in it.